guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and if you like self-care and healthy lifestyle content from a married working college student that's what I post on here and ironically I did not wear this sweatshirt on purpose but we're talking about self-care ideas for a college student during summertime so finals week is wrapping up I am done by the time you're seeing this video, you might be wrapping up your semester here soon. So I had some ideas of self-care things you can do for summertime. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Summer is approaching and we all get time to relax for a second, except for me because I have summer classes. It's important that we focus on taking care of ourselves. So I have six things I wanna share with you. The first one is to have an internal check-in. During the semester, we often are going so fast that we have no idea how we're doing on the inside. So I encourage you wherever you like to spend time alone, whether that's at a coffee shop, maybe getting out in nature or sitting in your room at your home, whatever you need to do, just take some time to see how you're actually doing. Give yourself some space to figure out your feelings, figure out your thoughts. If you like to journal, I recommend journaling your discoveries in a notebook or something. It would just be so beneficial for you to do an internal check-in and ask yourself, how am I really doing? What's actually going on in the inside of me? It helps us approach life better when we're self-aware. Just a thought. <laughs> Number two is to go on at least one trip if you don't have one planned. I understand it's hard to go on trips, especially when you're a broke college student and you may not have a lot of money, but at least do something that's outside of your normal surroundings because it's so therapeutic to get outside of the places that you're at every day, especially with that internal check-in stuff that we talked about. If all you can afford is to drive to the city next over and have a day trip there, do that because getting out of your surroundings is so beneficial and so helpful and you deserve it. Whether you do it alone or with friends and family, just go on a trip. Number three is to take care of your body. Your body is a temple as we see in the Bible. So it's time to take care of it, especially now that you have the time and space to do so. For me, the summertime is normally when I take care of my body best compared to the school year. But this also includes dyeing my hair, which I definitely need to do. Keeping my nails painted and tanning because that makes me feel good. Shaving regularly consistently doing my skincare and not skipping it and working out and eating better. The summertime is just the time to be your best self. Obviously, it'll look different for everybody. You may not like the same things that I like for taking care of my body, but just do whatever feels good for you. Number four is to reconnect with some old friends. Summertime is when everyone comes back from college and it's time to reconnect with them. There's just something about reconnecting with an old friend that you have a history with. I don't know, it just hits different, okay? It just reminds you of your past and who you are and I feel like we need to be realigned with that sometimes. Because when we go to new spaces or to college or wherever, we often forget our roots or where we came from but when you're with old friends, you're easily reminded of that. Which could be painful, could be beneficial, but it helps you to process and reflect on your roots when you're with old friends. So hit somebody up, hang out with them. Number five is to allow yourself to do things you actually enjoy. During the semester, we're so busy doing the things that we have to do that we don't normally get to do the things that we want to do. So now you have all the time in the world. Some things that I like to do during the summer is to go hammocking, read a book, go to a plant store or a nursery. I don't like doing this, but play a sport, <laughs> draw or paint, whatever are your passions, this is the time to do them. And you have no excuses now. Now you can actually do them. So do something fun for yourself. <laughs> Lastly, number six is to be present in the moment. When you are in college, there's so many things that you're thinking about in the future, whether it's your next class that you have to walk to after the one you're currently in, or the next due date of an assignment that you have coming up. There's so many things in the future that you have to keep thinking about, but in the summertime, 
all of those limitations go away. It's difficult to live in the moment when you have your schedule and agenda mapped out for you. But now during the summer, you can slow down and be present in every conversation, in every activity that you do for yourself, <laughs> in every car ride when you're listening to music with your windows down. This is the time to be present in those moments. It's so therapeutic. So much self-care going on there. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys.